Okay, let's move on towards game three. First off, we're going to be able to see Pepe's... Pepe's going to come out as Naya. Um, Naya is Pepe's main though, so... Not good. Let's see here. We have Psychologist, Mercenary, Patient... And, okay, Composer. Why did we pick Composer out of... Out of... Out of... Okay, okay. Who's first chase? Who's first chase? Who's first chase? First chase is... Is we see four friends. I think it's Composer or is that Patient? That's Composer. That's my leg. Okay, not good. Why? Why didn't you, you pick Lawyer? Why did you decide to go Composer? What's the point of you going Composer when Lawyer is 100% better even against the Knight? We're going to be able to get a jump down there, which means uh, that comes out with the Harpoon. But of course, with the Harpoon on mind, it seems like the movement speed boost allows us to actually catch up towards the Composer here immediately. And Composer here deciding not to use the tuning. We're going to be able to get a normal hit. Okay, but Composer has fly with Alice, which is fine. Uh, he doesn't have tuning. Sorry, he does not have tuning. And that's going to be another Harpoon going out. We have four seconds until our blink is ready. And I think it's going to be a normal blink down here. We're just waiting, we're just waiting. Okay, that's going to be a normal blink down. And we've got one and a half Cypher Machine done. We've got one and a half Cypher Machine done. So... 4-man elimination went up to 41%. 8 4-man elimination went up to 41%. Eh? Um, we can lock Palmblum Cypher Machine here as well, it seems. Because it's just a free cypher. It's a 100% free cypher to lock. Who do we see nearby? We see Mercenary nearby. I mean, like, look here, right? Listen to me, right? Even if you do lock, even even if you do continue to decode there, you decode at a slower rate. That's going to be a hit on towards Mercenary there immediately. We're not going to play mind games with you anymore. We are looking for my leg. Okay, my leg is over here. That's fine. That's currently 40%, 50%, 60%. As long as this wooden tie turn time, everything is okay. And of course, with a 70% on mine, it seems like we're going to be able to get the pop here immediately. Flyu was not used there, though. Flyu was not used there, though. I think it's because uh, we it was during tuning time, so either there's nothing we could do there or we just didn't react on time. We're going to be able to cherry here and stop cycle here from decoding. We're only finished one side from machine, but at least we've decoded the last four. And you know what, at least, uh, we'll be a little bit positive here. At least we've decoded the last four ciphers. Um... That's going to be that coming back out. Psychologist currently trying to get the heal on towards Mercenary. But even with that on mind. Okay, so we got the heal up. Maxi the Mercenary. We're going to sell here. Probably it's better to sell here. It's really just better to sell here, Survivors. You're missing four full Cypher Machines. That is not good for any of us right now. Okay then, we're going to be able to get a dash out. We're looking for Psychologist here immediately. Seeing where Psychologist footprints are as well. Pepe, very nicely done, honestly. I wonder if this is Nyad after buff. I really wonder. This probably isn't. Yeah, no, this isn't. Well, is this? I think it is Nyad after buff. Is it? Maybe? Maybe not. Oh, I don't know anymore um but for now for now pepe should be able to well we're looking for the dashes all we're doing oh that's going to be a very very beautiful dash and uh the harpoon didn't come back on time and we didn't get any more moisture there onto our psycho so I, it seems like for a psycho right now yeah moisture level should be going down should be able to go down here that's going to be another harpoon thrown out here that's going to be another dash but of course the dash only means a few things and that is uh Okay, we're playing mind games. Okay, we're playing pilot mind games. Okay, we're playing pilot. Okay, okay, we're playing pilot mind games. Um, um. Okay, we got a cycle down. Um, we're missing two full cipher machines. We do still have a titaner from patient side. Now then, now then, now then, now then, now then, now then. We're gonna lock the cipher machine nearby. Patient is nearby as well, wanting to get the rescue, but Psycho has to pull away immediately right after this too. So, like, as long as Mercy here can get the cipher machine done, that's all what we require. As long as Mercy can get the cipher machine done, that's all what we require. But, uh, Schmitty showing himself there a little bit earlier than I expected him to be. But, of course, since this is a patient we're talking about, he rescues Psycho 50% faster, so it's kind of like a gamekeeper... No, uh, yeah, Gravekeeper, but with a buff, honestly. Um, okay then, let's see here. Uh, we're gonna be able to- uh, Paul Bloom's just run. You just- you don't care about it. And, um, okay, we missed. You just- you just don't care about it anymore. You just need to leave the area. You really just have to leave the area and then nothing matters right afterwards. Really nothing matters right afterwards. Uh, we're going to be able to chirp back towards that cypher machine here once again. But it seems like that cypher is locked really hard there for- for patient so patient might actually not be able to decode that anymore uh we should be able to get a lot another lock did we we did just about on time just about on time and mercenary seems like he's 
going to be coming in for the rescue. Mercy is coming in for the rescue. Mercy is coming in for the rescue. But we're gonna lock this. We're gonna keep locking the ciphers, I guess. Okay, that's gonna be a cipher machine locked there once again. If we can get a double down situation here against a mercy, it'll be brilliant. Let's just say it that way. If we can get a double down situation. Oh no, we don't. No terror shock. Very nicely done by Roland. And blink down. Yeah. You gotta be discreet with that. You gotta be very, very, very discreet with that blink down. Okay then. There's two ciphers remaining. There is two ciphers remaining. Regardless of who you chase after here, one of them is gonna pop and another one is currently at 60 or 70%. Uh, in that case scenario, we won't dilly dally. We will speed it up. Okay, then, so Schmitty is currently going towards the corner in here, but even with Schmitty on towards the corner, Patient does have three hooks here to use. So these three hooks are going to be very strong for our friend Patient. Okay, Patient, 70%, 80-90%. That's a lot of moisture. That is a lot of moisture, and that's a burst down. And then we're going to be looking for Roland here. Roland is currently inside. We got a double slow vault out, but it seems like losing tonight is here can only mean a few things, and that is... We don't see where the mercenary is anymore. Okay then, so realizing that mercenary is nowhere to be found currently. Realizing that mercenary is currently nowhere to be found. In, uh, we're going to go back towards patient. And trying to scout for tonight's range. So we're not going towards hotel. But also at the same time, we're a little bit worried. Oh uh, uh, yeah, we are. Gonna, we, we do have to be worried, don't we? Because... Because, 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 the moment patient gets up and you don't, and that life machine is at 60%, you could get that done really fast. Um, we're not going towards any of the deeper devs, we're thinking that there's actually someone nearby. Roland being able to get a heal here from patient side is going to be brilliant, but, uh, yeah, it's going to be brilliant. So, with that in mind, we, we realized that there was a survivor nearby, we do see where Schmidt is once again, that's going to be another blink down there, we're going to currently going to go for another Slugs Nation game, I mean, I mean by this point you probably should be able to predict where they are, okay we're going to go come towards the back here, Pepe is looking, Pepe just thinks that they're going to come in with a rescue, with a heal, Honestly, that's all what Pepe is thinking right now. We are near this area of the map. Okay, this is such a long... Patient is going to be able to bleed out. Oh my god, Patient is going to be able to bleed out. Patient is actually going to be able to bleed out. Okay, Patient, use up self-heal. Meanwhile, Mercy has tinnitus. Mercenary gets found here. Mm, that's going to be one, that's going to be two be the harpoon back and yeah they're containing really well end game they're containing really 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 well really 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 well but it seems like mercy will be going down here and uh we're hiding okay can we get dungeon here schmitty can we get dungeon here we're currently nearby we're crouching but we don't have tinnitus we're not giving tinnitus to and pepe uh we're running towards the wrong direction of the map right now we're running towards the wrong direction of the map we don't hear anyone there's a patient near dungeon there's a patient near dungeon there's a patient near dungeon. There is a patient near dungeon. Pepe is still near the chair though. Why are we near the chair? They're not gonna come in for rescue. Uh okay, crows has popped. Crows has popped. Crows has popped. Wait a second, that's double dash. Schmidty, Schmidty, Schmidty. Okay, wait, wait, crawl, crawl, crawl. Nice. Moving on. Okay, let's move on towards uh second half then. Sprinter needs a three one elimination for extra rounds. This is a clown on Chinatown. Does this look familiar? Yes. Why? This reminds us of last year, RC versus B4U, Akas Clown versus B4U survivors, but it seems like it's going to be Sprinter to send coming out with a clown. We need a three-man elimination here. Clown might actually not be the worst case scenario because you could chase after lawyer, you can chase after a female dancer, but you just can't chase after Andy Curry and Daryl, which is the unfortunate side note, I guess. I mean, you could, but that's only if you don't run your rocket early game. That's the only, you know, that's the only catch. But it seems like right now Sprinter is not going to be able to go after Andy Curran here. Um, okay, we're going to be playing quite a little bit of a long mind game here. We're going to be playing quite a little bit of a long mind game here. We're trying to bait as much out as possible from this mercenary. But this is such a long palette. So I generally don't think you're going to be able to get much from this general direction. Even as a clown, it's going to be very hard. We're going towards the wrong direction. Thinking that lawyer is actually near this area. But uh, there's no one nearby. There is no one nearby. The lawyer that you're looking for is currently upstairs. And why is he upstairs? It's because of the drop down area. Cause, cause like you know, why why would lawyer not stay in two story when you can just stay in two story? Okay, that was not a pilot stone, but it was a pilot break. At least mercenary didn't get hit there, which is good for the survivor side. It's currently 80 seconds in towards the game. Um, it's two and a half side for machine. It is two and a half side for machine. We just need to go look for someone. Okay, female dancer is nearby. Female dancer is. 
Okay, it seems like we're going to be forcing, we're going to be forcing a movement speed boost along with a slow debuff here from the hunter side, which allows female dancer to rotate away. Um, that's going to be another there deployed down by lawyer just for the female dancer here to use. Female dancer getting upstairs there should allow a female dancer to know where the hunter is. But that also means that the hunter knows where female dancer is here too. Then you're not going to pull the rockets here because there's still a new slow music box nearby. Female Dancer is going to be very careful near this area as well. We did get the pallet break. But with the pallet break here, can we pull? We are going to be pulling here. But even with the pull here on mine, Female Dancer is near too. Well, these two windows won't be able to do much. It won't. Because this is a clown we're talking about. So as long as clown just runs around here in circles, that's all really what you need to worry about. And... And there comes down female dancer. So female dancer going down at 2 minute 25 seconds. 2 minute 25 seconds is... Oh, it's a win game for the survivors. This, this is a win game for the survivors. Oh. <sighs> okay then. Okay, Mercenary currently staying upstairs, me, which means that this guy is now unstoppable. This is one of another reason why lawyer stayed here. It's because if we want to sell, you can sell easy. If you want to rescue, you can rescue easy too. It's kind of one of the god areas here for survivors to be around. That's going to be a normal hit. That's going to be the rescue there as well. And we're going to be able to pull a rocket dash double down situation on towards mercenary side. But you know, that's also okay. Because guess what? Lawyer is going to be the one finishing mercenary side for machine off anyway. So who cares really? Nostalgic really does come in clutch here as well. We are going to be able to pick up a few extra rocket modification parts here too but even with the rocket modification parts on mind female dancer there's a pallet near there you can just drop the pallet down and okay the blink has been forced which means you have now nothing left for end game to use and because you have nothing left we're gonna pop open that side from your machine immediately okay it's gonna end up as a four-man end game here lawyer decoding really fast lawyer is going really 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 fast here um so so we're going to be looking for a lawyer here, but the Cypher Machine is prime. Female Dancer has been healed, and uh, that's a pop. And that's a pop, okay then. But then Lawyer with Veteran Speed Boost, uh, Basic Attack hit Speed Boost, and... Uh, and Exit Gate Speed Boost. Power Time Speed Boost. Okay, and we have another Window Speed Boost. No, we don't. We don't. We, we do have a Palace Speed Boost there to use, but we're just waiting. We're just waiting. You know, even if Lawyer tanks the normal hit here, it doesn't really matter, because that's kind of... Oh, no, we failed that. Oh, no. Uh, lawyer, 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 lawyer vaults over. It's fine when those speed boosts, not movement speed boosts up. We should be able to get a drop down and charge attack hit, maybe? No, we're not going to charge attack hit here. Lee Ball is going to go upstairs back to where the slow music box is. Slow music box here should be able to help him drop down, but that's going to be a three man escape here from the survivor side. Let's congratulate our oh, T for winning. Moving on.